Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something that sounds a little... counterintuitive. We've all heard the phrase, Linux doesn't get viruses, right? It's a core mantra of the open source community. But apparently the folks over at Kaspersky didn't get the memo, because they've just released a dedicated home antivirus product for Linux users. The product is called Kaspersky Standard for Linux, and it raises two massive questions. First, why does this even exist? And second, if you are a Linux user, should you seriously consider using it? Let's break down the reality of Linux security and whether adding a commercial antivirus suite is a smart move or a waste of resources. So why is Kaspersky doing this? Are they just trying to sell us something we don't need, or has the threat landscape changed that much? The truth is a little of both. Yes, traditional malware designed to infect a Linux desktop is still incredibly rare compared to Windows-based threats. Linux's permission model and rapid update cycles make it a much harder target for widespread infections. Kaspersky claims that Linux malware has increased 20-fold over the past five years, and technically, that's true. But, and this is a big but, the number of Linux desktop users actually affected is tiny compared to Windows. They use a major example to make their point. The XZ Utils backdoor from last year, a near-catastrophic supply chain attack that could have affected the entire Linux ecosystem. Now, here's the twist. Even if you had antivirus installed at the time, it wouldn't have flagged the XZ backdoor because it wasn't a file virus. It was a compromised upstream package, so using that as a marketing hook feels a little weak. Despite the marketing spin, Kaspersky isn't entirely wrong. Linux is growing in consumer space. Chromebooks, Steam Deck, gaming, more mainstream distros, and developers switching to Linux. And the more popular a platform becomes, the more attractive it is to attackers. So while Linux is still far safer than Windows, the threat landscape is changing. And let's not forget the rise of cross-platform threats, especially things like phishing attacks and specific browser-based exploits, which don't care what operating system you're using. And now for the million-dollar question. Do you need this? The answer depends entirely on who you are and how you use your machine. If you are a solo user running only Linux machines in your home, uh, never interacting with Windows networks, and you practice basic safe browsing habits. Honestly, you probably don't need a commercial AV suite. Your built-in security practices and the OS architecture are doing 99% of the heavy lifting. A solid, free, open source tool like Clam IV might be useful for occasional scans, but even that is often overkill. However, if you fall into the second category, the mixed environment user or the family network administrator, then Kaspersky for Linux starts to make a lot more sense. If your job is to make sure the family file server, which runs Linux, doesn't become a malware distribution point for your uncle's ancient Windows 7 laptop, then having real-time protection is a genuine benefit. It's an extra layer of defense for the vulnerable parts of your network that aren't running Linux. Most security threats on Linux come from outdated packages, misconfigured systems, shady PPAs running random scripts from the internet, weak passwords, and supply chain attacks, which antivirus cannot fix. So, a constantly running antivirus engine may not be useful to most users, but it might appeal to beginners, gamers switching from Windows, or anyone who wants peace of mind. One last thing we have to address. Kaspersky has faced scrutiny and even bans from some government entities in the US and UK due to its Russian origins and alleged ties to the government there. When you install any antivirus, you are essentially giving a company deep access to your system to monitor files and web traffic. It's a matter of trust. Many people in the security and Linux communities simply prefer to stick to open source solutions where the code can be publicly audited. That is a valid concern you need to weigh personally. So, to summarize, Kaspersky's new Linux AV product is well made and serves a genuine purpose in mixed operating system environments. Do you need it just because you use Linux? 
Probably not. But if you are the network gatekeeper for Windows users, it's a valid tool to keep in your arsenal. What are your thoughts on Linux AV? Do you run anything on your setup? Drop a comment below, hit that like button if you found this helpful, and subscribe for more tech deep dives. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.